Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Poppy Jungle here in Season 12 League of Legends. First things first, <laughs> you're gonna want the right runes. You're gonna wanna go for Predator, Cheap Shot, Eyeballs, Relentless, Celerity, and Water Walking. For your items, you have two choices. You can go Damage in Speed or Tank in Speed. My team is pretty high on the damage scale, so we'll probably just go Tanky Poppy, which will be uh, Chem Tank instead of Divine Sunder. So we'll, we'll run Chem Tank into uh, Dead Man's into Force of Nature and be ridiculously fast. Poppy, you're usually looking to do a five camp clear and skip the Krugs. They take way too long in your first clear. They'll put you in a really weird spot. If you pick up your Buckler a little bit later than I did, you can actually end up blocking two auto attacks, but you have to pick it up right as its hit is about to land. And that's a big way Poppy stays healthy actually is by uh, doing that your Q is big aoe damage you can hit multiple monsters multiple champions with it and it even goes slightly behind you it's a very forgiving hitbox much bigger than it actually shows it to be walk over here immediately e drop the Q on all three of them kite it back as long as things are running into you it is ridiculously easy to hit the whole thing with your Q. That's why you gotta stretch it a bit. Now we got that sweet level three. We can W over to get there a little bit quicker. If you feel like you're gonna get invaded, wouldn't recommend it. We're up against a Wukong. Normally on Poppy Jungle, you can't solo champions who have lethal tempo or conquer. It's a very bad idea to try to fight them to the death. A Wukong, we might actually be able to because Wukong's not very meta of a jungler right now. So if he's missing a little bit of health like that, we could probably kill him. Looks like he did a two camp clear into gank. That was a really bad idea, especially against a Camille. We're going to pop some potions. I think we'll block both autos here because we picked it up later. Nice. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Okay. okay. Looks like he's not going to invade. That's perfect. He's trying to get that into the wall. Accidentally stepped on the outside of the bush. Kind of goofed to myself there. And you should be finishing your five camp clear around 3.05. If you get a leash, three minute, oh, five seconds, walk, walk out, look for a gank and scuttle. And hit this guy with our passive, hit him with an auto attack Q and down he goes. We didn't even use our E cause it would have pushed him out of Camille's skill shots and we didn't need to. Your E is a gap closer. Also, if they're near a structure or a wall, it's good to use. We'll let him use his abilities on that first. He's I know he's waiting in the bush. He's so low on health. If my Q's up, I'd go back in on him. Got him. I do still have my uh, smite for this, so I'm fine. Your flash sets up your E really easily. You can People think you're out of range and you can't get to them, but you can. I'm just trying to get over here a little bit quicker. Wukong's going to be rushing this area down. I have bot prior, so I still feel a little bit safe about this. Even without smite, I should be able to take it. Get it into the wall with our E. Once again, any structure, wall, turret, nexus, anivia wall, trundle pillar, you can stun people with your E against. Now we want to look for a reset. After you've ganked once or twice, you need to back and get your boots so you can start utilizing your predator. That would be a decent gank if I had full HP. We could dive underneath turrets. Poppy's really, really good at that. Someone's underneath a turret because look how many walls are near them. There's a turret to slam them against, a wall, and another wall. Poppy struggles most with ganking mid lane because there's not much to knock them against. There's some wide open spaces. Top and bot lane are usually the preferred lanes to gank on Poppy Jungle. Like I said, our teammates are really high damage, so I'm not going to bother going Divine Sunder. I'm going to go for Chem Tank instead for better ganks and uh, better mobility. So we sh our team doesn't need any more damage. Since so he's doing some wild stuff, he's going to get himself killed. Camille's not the type of champion you can do that against. We're going to Predator, run straight into him. And he's dead. Nice, nice, nice. Finished him off with that passive. Timo's pushing really far up. He doesn't have boots. Should be able to run him down. Should be able to just come up behind him. Our W's on cooldown. I can wait here for a second. When he steps up for a CS next time. Yep, there we go. 
Get him right into the wall. Auto attack Q. Down he goes. Your normal combo against champions, if you can get the wall stun, will be a E in the auto Q. You should be able to land all of that accordingly. If this stun doesn't land, you don't necessarily auto then Q because you're trying to land both sides of the Q. This rock is really far out of position. Teammates are not reacting to it though. That was a free pinch of rune. They got caught up on the big wave. They're not really paying attention there. Predators on cooldown. We can look to farm here. Not really missing out. Plus we had two smite chargers, so might as well. I think our blast cone's up, so we can go ahead and utilize that right now. Poppy plays really well against melee champions because of her Q. It's very easy to land it on people who are already trying to melee you. I can knock Tristana out of the air with my W. We got her there. Had her pinched off, got her straight into the wall. Block that guy off with my Q, pick up my buckler. Soraka's so low, I can literally kill her here. I think this area is warded. Hey, bud. He can't get to me with his dash because of my W. That's kind of hilarious, that interaction. He's definitely going to come to me from there. He's going to try to kill me on my blue buff. I'll have to go to Wolves first, get my health back. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He might come to Wolves. It's possible. My smite is up. Hopefully he doesn't get that kill on Seraphine. That would kind of suck. Decided to save my smite because my teammates are pushing him off. I can just smite the blue buff here. You can eat over walls as long as you have an enemy target to dash to, whether it's a minion monster or a champion. I don't really want to give this to Ziggs. I guess I will because he... Oh, I wasn't even trying to take it there. You, you really don't need to be giving your buffs away before you're level 6 on any jungler. You really need to get that level 6 ASAP so you can win the game. We'll get our health back before we use our W speed up out of base. Yeah, Poppy's Q, it literally goes behind her. Where you see her pigtails are, it goes slightly farther than that behind you. This hitbox is much smaller than it actually is that it's showing. The hitbox is much bigger than what it's showing. I'll show you, so look, I'm facing this way. Oh, okay, it didn't work that time. I'll show you against the red buff. <laughs> uh, I, I promise I'm not lying. When people are behind you, you can still hit them. You just have to be a little closer than that, I guess. So look, red buff. So we're facing the other way and it still hit him. And we queued the other way. Your clear gets quite a bit faster once you have chem tank. That huge AOE burst that it gives is super nice. Against multi-target camps, it's okay to take a step before you queue. So if you E in, it's okay to take a half step back or whatever to try to hit the whole camp. You don't have to queue immediately. It's better to hit the whole camp with the queue than it is to force it early and miss half of it. We have an easy gank top here. Wukong's bot side. I guess we'll uh, take this guy. Yeah, Wukong lingered really long bot side. He's going to... End up missing a bunch of his camps for this. I also have a dive opportunity on Singed here. He has tier 2 boots. I don't have tier 2s, but I do have Predator, which is better than tier 2 boots. We're going to walk up to him. We'll hold on to our W since he doesn't have a dash. I'll use it as a secondary speed up. I wanted a kill or an assist there. I didn't want to get nothing for my troubles. Teemo shoved up. We have Kemp taking our Ws. Gap closers. We should be able to close the distance. We'll hug the wall here to give ourselves more space. All right, here we go. Kemp tank W. Ooh. QR. Ah, oh, I was close. A lot of times you want to Q. But, ooh, nice. He got it with his R. A lot of times you want to Q then R. Your R will hold them still. That way you can land both sides of your Q. Dang. I think I'm getting pinched here. I think their bot lane's pinching me. Yeah. Good thing we're tanky. 
We are very, very tanky. Oof. Yeah, we got to get out of here. This is just a weird fight. Down goes Soraka. Down goes Wukong. Our W is countering their team so hard. We can stop the Trish jump, the Wukong jump. It, there's not much they can do once I get on top of them. Any dash, leap, or jump, Poppy W will cancel when you activate it. As long as they're inside of it. Oof. What is this guy doing? He's a goofball. Sorry, Ziggs. <laughs> you have more HP than I do. Got him right into the wall. Down he goes. Wukong's a really bad pick in a poppy. It's very, very unplayable. Wukong relies heavily on his dash to set up his auto attack Q reset and his R's. So with the Poppy W, it just negates his whole kit. Same thing with a LeBlanc or a Kha'Zix. They're trying to jump around in fights, but they can't because you time your W. You can just hold on to it until they start their dash animation and then they lose. Poppy is a top tier jungler right now. She's, I think she's considered a top five or top seven. She's up there. That was a really, really Soraki. She put that on a cooldown. Wukong's still not full item. There's three of them bot, though. Both bot laners and Wukong. I can just go mid here. Teemo doesn't have tier two boots. We have the chem tank speed up. Should be able to run him down. I, I could, oof. I could push him right into turret, I guess. I'm going to predator chem tank. Ran him down into the Ziggs R. Used our passive auto in a Q. Didn't even need to use E. Usually don't charge your R on Poppy unless you're trying to get away. You normally just use it instantly to knock them up. So you'll Q R and then your R lets you land both sides of your Q. Because your Q does damage and then it does damage again. It's, it's a two-parter. Both is a damage, both is a slow. You do not want to chase into Poppy Qs. It doesn't... An insane amount of damage does it has flat damage plus eight percent of your max health damage on both sides so if you if she lands both sides of her q on you it's doing 16 percent of your max health plus its base damage of right now it's at 150. well w for the speed up on this auto attack q down he goes yeah full control of this game we need to be getting all the objectives especially after kills like these herald should be free Ziggs rotated top since he got outer mid turret. You can easily solo uh, heralds with Poppy because we're a Q max health. Same with dragons for tank champions. Camille being here is basically just just in case several people show up. Nice. I'll ping this out. This is a free kill. I have Predator and Chem Tank. I'm gonna be really fast. He shouldn't have hit that plant though. Q arm inside of it. Down he goes. I could have held on to my R for another half a second. You basically will just want to make sure you R them while they're still CC'd from your E. That way they, they're stunned and they can't flash it or hourglass your R. I need to get out. I'm getting creamed. We're sitting on a crap load of gold. You want to go for dead mans and force to nature pretty much every single game. They have mixed damage, so we can definitely justify force to nature after the uh, dead mans here. We'll also pick up tier two boots against their team. Their double physical triple magic damage. I guess I'll go for Merc Treads and then we'll get Force of Nature. It works out well because, oh, I guess that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Poppy Jungle commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, even though we went tank Poppy, we're still up there. That's because Poppy has amazing base damage, particularly on her Q. That's her main source of damage output. For damage taken, we've taken the most on our team. Uh, at 10,000 damage. And then we'll look at self mitigated damage. It was 10,000. So we self mitigated it as much as we took. So we took quite a bit.
very nice. Varun's Predator did a tiny amount, cheap shot, not too much itself. Bear in mind, it was a short game. We had Eyeballs maxed out, Relentless maxed out, and Celerity and Water Walking put in some work. All in all, Poppy Jungle, an amazing spot right now. You can play her more damage heavy with Divine Sunder or play her more tank speed heavy with Chem Tank. Both are great options. You just choose the tank option if your team is already high damage, and you choose the damage option if your team is high tank, low damage. 